Hey. It's time to talk about a mechanic that I don't think should exist in the game but does exist and that's flawless blocking on hit. So meaning someone gels you and when they try to reinforce with standing one for example, you flawless block them. <laughs> it's actually not as hard to do as you might think. So I would say it's probably harder than flawless blocking after a string is completely done, you know. So this is a bit hard to record but if you do a string that has a full stop that cannot be special cancelled, it's easier to flawless block someone because you have, like I said, a strict timing where you know they're going to press because they're taking back their turn, right? So if we do this, like this is, rain is difficult to show this with. Usually a cabal would be much easier, but I don't have cabal right now. And of course it's when reach. Like doing something like this is, is easy. The one where you do the flawless block on hit is a bit harder because you never know the timing of when they're gonna hit you. Like this guy does this, right? But as you can see, so he can do that or he can do something like a little bit more delayed. Could just delay it a little bit. And if I try to flawless block, uh, let's put it at the right one. He delays it, I try to flawless block, right? And it just, it didn't work. And what might happen is that, th that's the counter to someone uh, flawless blocking on hit. Is to delay your attack because by the time they press block and then they press 2 or something, you're gonna hit them when they press 2 or they might hit you if you're too slow so you might trade but anyways. So yeah, because the timing is a little bit unreliable, it might be hard to do but in some, some instances you will be able to do it so assuming that they don't delay it, assuming that they're a player that gels you and goes for it immediately, has good reactions, something like this, right? You see a gel, that would be a, a normal reaction, but here's the thing. <laughs> so, and unless they delay, like, there's like an OS here. You can try to flawless block, and if you miss, look at my inputs on the right. I did right trigger, up two, and then I, I blocked again. And this, uh, me blocking again, if I mess it up, I just keep blocking. See? Nothing happened. So you should always try to go for flawless blocks on hit, technically, because either you... Un unless they delay, right? But if they don't delay, unless you, you either get it, or you mess up your timing, and now I'm just getting it over and over, or you mess up your timing, and since you can block again, you block, and then you do up to block again, nothing happens. You're completely fine. And that's the reality of Flawless blocking as well for any sorts of other attack, which I'll do another video on. But anyway, so that that's flawless blocking on hit. It's not that hard. I would really encourage you to try it. It's really like it's a high level scrub tactic in my opinion. It shouldn't happen. And when someone does it to me, I am enraged simply because like so. In my opinion, so when Shang has earned his turn by poking you like this, you should have to block. You should have to face pressure between. A string or a throw. You shouldn't be able to flawless block. Actually, it might be non flawless box, and that's just mine, you don't have to agree, is that you should only be able to flawless blocks flawless block within strings. You should not there should not even be a flawless block gap on the first hit like this. There should be no flawless block gap right here. Because I don't like it when uh, let's say so the turn is over. No, that's a bad example, but the turn is over, shank pokes, and then boom, you flawless block him. Just like I showed at, at the start. I don't like it because he's doing nothing wrong. He's just taking back his turn. So I, I don't like that. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. Like, come, subscribe, peace.